Let's go through my 2020 book journal so far. Hello bookworm family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Danny. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I post every Sunday and an occasional Wednesday. And if you guys are not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to do that. It is at the underscore dancing underscore bookworm. I post on there full book reviews and bookish content. So um, I'm kind of having an off day today, just like not feeling things today like just kind of want to veg um I've had a pretty busy week so I decided instead of doing like a full video where it's just like my face the whole time and I have to like really like talk and come up with like clever things that we would go through the first half of my 2020 book journal um so basically my book journal I do all year long um and last year I just did like a whole review of my book journal in December. However, I've read so many books so far and I think I'm going to read a lot more books um, this year that I didn't want that video to be forever long. So I thought I would do like half the year and then half the year. So I'm going to be doing today's from January to June even though it's August um, but I just kind of like thought of this idea and I was like well we'll just do it through half the year. So this will be January through June and then in December I will do July through December and you guys can kind of see how my book journal turned out then um, but this is just so that the video doesn't have to be as long so um, if it's December already and you guys are just coming across this video then there will be a second part to this that I will link down below in this one if I remember to because it's like a long time from now um, but this video will definitely be linked in the other one um, so you guys can kind of see the whole video all at once but it's not like a 40 minute video it'll be like two 20 minute sections or however long this is. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm just filming this on my bed because like I said, I'm just kind of off today. So I didn't really feel like setting anything special up. Let me see. Do I need more light? I can't decide. Let's see. Does that help? Oh yeah, that helps a little bit. Okay. So this is the outside of my journal. You guys have seen this already, I think, but it just says how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. And then I've got these stickers um, for like decoration. They're kind of peeling up. I need to put like some tape on them. And then on the side, I've already had to put a piece of tape on the 2020. So I might change that sticker out by the end of the year, but it's just a little like decoration. So when it's sitting up on my shelf, I can see what book journal was what year. Uh, so yeah, so let's jump into it. So in here, I ended up getting these really cute stickers from a book box. Um, it was the Literary book box, and it just says this book belongs to Danny. So I decided to put it in the front of all my book journals, so all my book journals have that now. Um, and then it says reading 2020 journal, goal 100 books, and total, I think as of right now, I've read a total of 79 books, but we'll only be covering the books through June, so I think that was like 60-something, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, then we go into the table of contents. Um, we won't really go through this very much because it's obviously just your normal table of content. But if you guys want to like pause on anything, you can and like read through it. That's fine. But I might just flip through some of the pages. But feel free to pause as we go along. So then we're in the opening. This is my first tab. It says a year of reading. And this is kind of the design for all my pages. Just kind of like this fantastical looking stuff. Um, so as far as the books from my 20... 2019 shelf that I've wanted to read so far. I have read The Kingdom, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, um, Unwind, The Messenger, Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, Scythe, Out of the Wild Night, Okay for Now, Words on Fire, Shout, Underlying, and Once Upon a Dream. So I still have a bunch that I need to read that were on my 2019 shelf. Hopefully I will get through those, but you know, no promises because I always keep buying new books. <laughs> So then for every book that I've read so far, I've just drawn like my own little version of the cover. Um, I would say my favorite so far on this first page, geez, I don't know, probably, mm, I kind of really like how um, Adventures of Tom Sawyer came out just because I think it's kind of simple and I like that. Um, and I also kind of like the Black Mage because I think that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, those are just for that first page that is books 1 through 36. 
Um, and then we have books 37 through 72. Wow, I didn't know that that was that many on this page. Uh, my favorite, okay, so I have a couple favorites on this page. Um, I really like the Book Wanderers one that I did, but I also really like um, the Dear Dumb Diary one. Can Adults Become Human too? is what the book is officially called. Um, I like As Old As Time. I think that that one came out nice. I really like the Titanic one too that I did. Um, so yeah, there's a couple on this page that I really like. Um, so yeah. And then I think these were all, yeah, these were all after June. So we're not going to talk about those yet. All right. So... So then we have my author index. So right now they're out of alphabetical order and just written in with pencil. As of December, I will put them in alphabetical order and then um, write them in with a marker. But yeah, I've had a wide variety of authors so far this year. So then here's my books that I have lent out and books that I have borrowed. Um, oh, I have to add a book that I have borrowed, but I borrowed it in July, so we're okay for right now. Um, but yeah, so these are the books that I've lent out. Um, I haven't really borrowed many books this year because I really am trying to read on my shelf. But So then we have books I want to buy or borrow. Um, so I have bought Conceal Don't Feel, As Old as Time, A Whole New World, Reflection, Mirror, Mirror, So This Is Love, Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs, You, Prince and the Dressmaker, Hidden Bodies. Um, I have also bought Tilly and the Book Wanderers, or it's just called the Book Wanderers in the U.S., The Good Hawk, and Ivy's Aberdeen's Letter to the World. Now, I have not read all those yet, and I still have a bunch more that I want to buy, but those are basically books that I've heard about on YouTube that I've wanted to purchase um, or borrow so that I could read them because they sounded good on YouTube. All right, so so then we're in January. For January, I read nine books. Um, I'm just going to flip through the pages. If you guys are interested in learning more about these books, just pause and you can kind of read what I've written. Uh, but the first one was Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. Shout by Laurie Halls Anderson. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Bloom by Kevin Pineda. Packs by Sarah Pennypecker. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ni Ng. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I really butchered that. Uh, Underlying by Janelle Harris. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. Words on Fire by Jennifer A. Nielsen. And that gets us into our January wrap up where I read nine books. Um, I read one book that was between 101 pages and 200 pages, five between 201 and 300, two between 301 and 400, four, or one between 401 and 500, and no 500 plus books. Uh, I've read one realistic, one romance, one mystery, two sci fi fantasy, zero non fic memoir, uh, po one poetry, three other. Two children's, two middle grade, one young adult, two new adult, two adult, one paperback, two hardcover. Okay, so the half um, means that like it was like an ebook and a graphic novel, so I gave it like half for each, which is kind of lame, but you know, it's my book, so. Uh, so one and a half ebook, two audiobooks, a half of a graphic novel. Uh, zero other. Overall, the books made me pretty happy. Um, I had zero one star, three two star, one three star, two four star, three five star, which gave me 32 out of 45 total. I read a minimum of 145 pages and a maximum of 440 pages. So that was how July or January went. And then these are the books that I bought in January. So I bought a total of 10 books and I paid $55.73 for all of them. And then this is like if there were any coupons or anything or like they were included in a book box. That brings us to February. I only read seven books in February. I read You by Carolyn Kepnes. Choose Your Own Autobiography by Neil Patrick Harris. Breakout by Kate Messner. The Safekeeper's Secret by Sharon Shin. Okay for Now by Gary D. Schmidt. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Scoot Over and Make Some Room by Heather Avis. So February I read seven books. 
Oh, I forgot to put the zeros here. I meant to put zeros. Okay, I'll have to go back and do that. Um, but I read four books between 201 pages and 300 pages, one between 301 and 400, and two between 401 and 500. Um, I read one Christian, two realistic fiction, or two realistic or contemporary, two sci-fi fantasy, one non-fic memoir, and one other. I read one middle grade, three young adult, and three adult, three and a half paperback, three hardcover, and a half of an audiobook. Um, it made me kind of just like have overall otherish emotions. Um, I had zero one star, one two star, four three stars, three or no, sorry, that's a, that's two. I forgot the tally. So two three stars, three four stars, one five star, and then twenty five out of thirty total. My minimum. Oops, I gotta switch those numbers. My minimum was 222 and my maximum was 433. This is good though, because I can see where my mistakes are and then I can come back and fix them. So I bought nine books in February and it came to a total of $70.07. That brings us into March where I read, is that a 12? I think that's a 12. I think I read 12 books. 13 books, I read 13 books, 13. Okay, so I read The Black Mage by Daniel Barnes, Dropkick Romance by Cyrus Parker, Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, Crenshaw by Katherine Applegate, Renegades by Marissa Meyer, The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg, Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend by Matthew Dix. Junie B. Jones, First Grader at Last by Barbara Park. Inside Out and Back Again by Thon Ha Lei. True Confessions by Janet and Tashijan. Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which is, this is my top book so far that I've read this year, which it's a reread for me, but you know, it'll probably always be one of my top books. And March wrap up, I read 13 books. I had one book between 76 and 100 pages, four between 101 and 200, two between 201 and 300, three between 301 and 400, one between 401 and 500, and two 500 plus. I read four realistic contemporary, five sci-fi fantasy, one poetry, and three other. I read two children's, five middle grade, five uh, young adult, and two adult, three and a half paperback, four hardcover, one ebook, four and a half audio, one graphic novel. Overall, I was happy. I have to write like happy here because I forgot to do that. Um, I had zero one star, two, two two star, three three star, two four star, and six five star, which left me with 51 out of 65 overall. My minimum was 76 pages and my maximum was 562 pages. I bought 11 books in March. You can tell that quarantine started. I had nothing to do but spend my money on Amazon. Uh, so I spent $108.99 on books that month. April, this was probably, I, no, this wasn't my best reading month, actually. I had a better reading month, but this was pretty close to my best reading month. But this was 15 books in April. I read Sarah Plain and Tall by Patricia McLaughlin. Peace Locomotion by Jacqueline Woodson, and so far I think this is my favorite, like, text at the top that I've written, because I really like that rainbow. The Help by Katherine Stockett. Refugee by Ellen Gratz. Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs by Caitlin Dowdy. Chasing Vermeer by Blue Belliette. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Dear Sister by Allison McGee. The Running Dream by Wendelin Van Drainen. Love Angelato by Jenna Evans Welch. As Old as Time by Liz Braswell. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. 
Grimm's Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm, and I think this is one of my like favorite pictures in the box so far. I just really like those flowers. Happy's Big Plan by Kristen Earhart. The New Kid at School by Kate McMullen. So that leaves 15 books that I read in April. I had one between 50 and 75 pages, two between 76 and 100 pages, two between 101 and 200 pages, two between 201 and 300 pages, six between 301 and 400 pages, two between 401 and 500 pages. I had two realistic, one romance, one mystery, six sci-fi fantasy, one nonfic memoir, and four other. Other is like history class or historical classic um, things that don't qualify, like quote books, stuff like that. Um, so I read five children's, two middle grade, six young adult, two adult. I had eight paperback, three hardcover, one ebook, three audiobook. Overall, they made me pretty happy. One one star, six two star, one three star, four four star, three five star, which left me with 47 out of 75. So that's not like a great number for the amount of books that I read, but it's okay. Um, and then I had a minimum of 64 pages and a maximum of 484 pages. So this is another one. You can tell that I was in quarantine because I just really bought books and did nothing else. Uh, so I bought 59 books and I spent $280.56 on books. Oh my gosh, that's hurting my soul because I'm hurting for money now. I should have saved that money. <laughs> uh, okay, so May has been my best reading month so far. I read 19 books. And so I read Night Lights by Lorena Alvarez. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Messenger by Lois Lowry. Can Adults Become Human by Jim Benton. The Book Wanderers by Anna James. I also think that this is one of my favorite pages. I just like how it kind of like came out with that over fan, overly overall fantastical look to it. Sorry, I can't talk today. The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. Out of the Wild Night by Blue Balliette. Ballet Shoes by Noelle Streetfield. The Fran with Four Brains by Jim Benton. Book Scavenger by Jennifer Chambliss Bert Bertman, I think is what it was. Sorry, I can't really see what I wrote there. Flame of Olympus by Kate O'Hearn. The Second Story by Neil Patrick Harris. The Parent Trap by Eric Kish. Kister, Kister, Kastner, Kastner. Sorry, I can't even read my own handwriting. The Minor Third by Neil Patrick Harris. I Survived the Singing of the Titanic 1912 by Lauren Tarshish. I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916 by Lauren Tarshish. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. Una Finds an Egg by Adele, Adele Griffin. I think this is also one of my favorite pages. I just like the whole prehistorical thing. It's kind of cute. So my May wrap up, I read 19 books. I had one between 50 and 75 pages, two between 76 and 100 pages, seven between 101 and 200 pages, four between 201 and 300 pages, five between 301 and 400 pages. And then um, I had three realistic contemporary, eight sci-fi fantasy, one nonfic memoir, and seven other. I had three children's, a 14 middle grade, because this was Believe-a-thon, so most of my books were middle grade, one young adult, and one new adult, 14 paperback, one hardcover, four audio, and then overall the books were pretty sad, like I didn't read like a ton of happy books that month, um, so I had one one star, four three stars, 5, 10, 12, 4 stars, and 2, 5 stars, which left me with 71 out of 95, which is pretty good given how many books that I read. Minimum amount of pages was 53, and my maximum amount of pages was 391. Uh, so again, I went on a buying binge, not as bad as the month before, but I bought 20 books, and I spent $139.14 on books. So I, like... 
really need to check my priorities of buying books. I'm glad that I'm doing this because, yeah, I buy too many books. All right, so the last month we're going to talk about for this video is June, where I only read six books. Um, this was kind of when I went back to work, so things got rough with the book reading. Uh, so the first book that I read is For Everyone by Jason Reynolds. The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I Am Alfonso Jones by Tony Medina. Kings, Queens, and In-Betweens by Tanya Botiju. I Hate the Rules by Nancy E. Krulik. Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. So I read six books overall. I read one between 76 and 100 pages, two between 101 and 200 pages, one between 201 and 300 pages, two between 301 and 400 pages. I read one realistic contemporary, two sci-fi fantasy, one poetry, and two other. I read one children's, four young adult, and one new adult, three and a half paperbacks, one and a half ebooks, half of an audio and half of a graphic novel. Um, they kind of were just like other emotions. They're just kind of like all over the place. Um, I had one three star, two four star, and three five star for 24 out of 30 stars total. And I read a minimum of 84 pages and a maximum of 390 pages. And so I only bought two books that month and I didn't pay anything because they were just like gifted books or something like that. So, um, yeah, I realized that my book buying was an issue, so I stopped doing that. <laughs> um, so then we're getting into my mid-year um, discussion. So this is like when June was over, I did kind of like a mid-year review. Uh, so this is my mid-year stats. Um, I had read a total of 69 books at this point and a total of 18,451 pages. I am 70% into my reading goal. I need to average five books a month to complete this year's reading goal, which should be no problem. Uh, my number one book was Little Women, then Far From the Tree, The Hunger Games, Love and Gelato, and Breakout were my top five books. Uh, so for my mid-year author stats, I read, oh, I didn't write the numbers here, but I read 5, 10, 15, 20 books by male authors, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48 books by female authors, and one binary author. Um, so it gave me 28.9% male, 69.5% female, and 1.6% non-binary. I read 58 authors from the U.S., 3 from the U.K., 2 from Canada, 1 from Australia, and 5 from other locations that's not listed on here and the two local authors that I read was Lori Hall Anderson and Kate Messner so for the books that I bought my mid-year book buying stats um, I bought 111 books total oof um, I paid for 99 of those books I was gifted 12 of those books um, I bought the most books from Amazon and the most expensive was $18.99 and the least expensive was $3.99 other than free books. This is like such a reality check. I need to like rein in my book buying so bad. Uh, so for my ultimate book, book race, um, I had a uh, shout and breakout, breakout one, Renegades and For Everyone. These are just like the top books that I read that kind of went at it. Uh, so like not all the books are listed obviously, but Renegades and For Everyone went at it and then Renegades won and then between Breakout and Renegades, Breakout won and then Breakout made it to the final two. Um, I had Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Kingdom, which Adventures of Tom Sawyer won. I am Alfonso Jones and Winnie the Pooh, which Winnie the Pooh won. And then Adventures of Tom Sawyer beat that, but it doesn't be beat Breakout. Um, Little Women and Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend, Little Women won, and then Little Women, um, also beat between Hunger Games and Far From the Tree, Far From the Tree won, and Little Women beat that, and then Little Women made it to the final two. And then Love and Gelato and Unwind, Love and Gelato won, and then Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow and The Book Wanderers, The Book Wanderers won, but Love and Gelato beat it out, and then I was between Little Women and Breakout, and Little Women won for best book so far of 2020. 
So then we have my uh, 2020 biannual book superlatives. So all the five star books that I read were Shout, Breakout, Renegades, For Everyone, Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Kingdom, I Am Alfonso Jones, Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Little Women, Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend, Hunger Games series, Far From the Tree, Love and Gelato, Unwind, Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. Oh, okay, so like all the Hunger Games series are on here, and then The Book Wanderers. My top book was Little Women. My worst book was Out of the Wild Night. Um, my what is this one? This one is best character was Nima from Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens. Best setting was from Nevermore. Most diverse was Far From the Tree. Longest book was Renegades. Shortest book was Nightlights. Funniest books was book was Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens. Saddest book was The Messenger. Song that best fit the book was The Hanging Tree from Mockingjay. Uh, best quote was, it's disturbing how fast weeds take root in my garden of worthlessness. Uh, which was of, yeah, worth, worthiness. Worthiness, ah, sorry. Uh, but that was Jessica from The Running Dream. Shout was the best poetry. Best YA was Far From the Tree. Best children's and middle grade was Breakout. Best romance was Love and Gelato. Best adult was Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend. Best mystery was Book Scavenger. Best nonfiction was Girl Interrupted. Best sci-fi fantasy was The Hunger Games. Best historical classic was Little Women. Best author was Louisa May Alcott. Best book box was Rainbow Crate. Best couple was Katniss and Peeta from The Hunger Games. Best cover art was Flames of Olympus, which is from Pegasus series by Kate O'Hearn. Uh, characters I most relate to is Nima from Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens and Joe from Little Women. Uh, most accurate movie was Little Women, the 2019 version, and the least accurate movie to the book was Sarah Plain and Tall. So then we're going to jump to like my closing stats because the rest is just the months. Um, so, so far here are the books that I've hung out to dry, also known as my did not finish books. I did not finish How Harry Cast a Spell by Jonathan Granger or The BFG by Roald Dahl. Um, I had already read The BFG, I just wasn't into reading it again and Ava also was not interested in reading it. And How Harry Cast a Spell was just really weird, so I didn't finish that. Uh, 2020 books that I've read that are movie adaptations that I've also seen. Um, and then if they're spot on, they get this symbol. Mostly, most like, mostly like the book, they get a half thing. And not at all like the book is the yin yang symbol. So Adventures of Tom Sawyer was spot on. Adventures of Winnie the Pooh was half. You was half. Uh, which is the TV series, Stargirl was half, True Confessions was half, uh, Little Women, the 2019 version, was spot on, uh, Sarah Plain and Tall was yin yang, uh, so it was complete opposite, The Help was half, Hunger Games was half, Grimm's Fairy Tales was half, um, Girl Interrupted was half, Little House series was half, uh, this was to the TV show, uh, Can Adults Become Human 2 was the Dear Dumb Diary book, and that was half. Uh, Mockingjay was half. Ballet Shoes was spot on. Parent Trap was half. Banicula was like completely yin yang. It's a cartoon series, so it was really different. Um, and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close was half, and Catching Fire was half. And I still have many more to go there. Um, so I'm just gonna stretch out my leg really quick. Okay, so uh, the best soundtrack songs that I've listened to so far, I just have penciled in right now. And I'll go over this at the end of the year because they're constantly changing. Um, but basically like I write like my top five soundtrack songs that fit love songs, inspirational, self-care, faith building, joyful, sad, angry, fantastical, instrumental, and kids. Uh, so I have only reached three continents so far from the books that I've read. Um, so I've reached North America, Europe, uh, and Asia. So I still want to read a book from Antarctica, Australia, Africa, and South America this year. Um, and then I write the countries that I've visited in those on there as well. Um, and then my USA map, I'm also not doing great in, because some books don't tell you, like, the exact state it takes place in, but, yeah, I read a lot of books that take place in New York, so I really want to try to venture out of that and maybe go, like, more like this area, because I don't think I've really read many, like, I don't think I've ever read a book that takes place in Texas, actually. I should probably do that. <laughs> and I know I haven't read a book that takes place in Alaska. I should also do that. 
Um, so then the decades books have taken me to, I've pretty much covered a wide range of range of decades, but I still have some more that I'd like to visit, like especially 1500s and 1600s. I really want to visit those, um, via books. So I don't know why I keep turning this around because these are all horizontal. Okay. So I have read no books that have taken me to space so far. Um, books that have taken me to a different dimension or the future so far has been Ark of the Scythe series, Renegade series, The Kingdom, Hunger Games series, Unwind series, and The Giver series. And books that took me to a different realm so far is the Twisted Tales collection, Safekeeper Se Secret series, Black Mage, Nevermore series, Grimm's Fairy Tales, Dragon Slayers Academy series, Nightlight series, Book Wanderer series and Pegasus, uh, Pegasus series, the Pegasus series. Uh, so series and collections that I've started, um, I'm hoping this will look better by the end of the year, but I've started the Twisted Tales collection, Winnie the Pooh, You, Safekeeper Secret, or just the Safekeepers, uh, Arc of the Scythe, Stargirl, Renegades, Junie B. Jones, Nevermore, Little Women, Locomotion, which I have finished both of the books in that series, Sarah Plain and Tall, Chasing Vermeer, Hunger Games, I have finished that whole series this year, um, which was a reread of the series, but I finished the whole thing, Love and by Jenna Evans Welch, um, so I, these are the only two books that are out now, Love and Luck and Love and Gelato, and I've read both of those, so I just need, when the new one comes out, I need to read that, um, Unwind, Big Apple Barn, Dragon Slayers, Nightlights, I have read both of the books that are in that series so far. I think she's coming out with another one, but that's so far. Little House on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Dear Dumb Diary by Jim Benton. Uh, Giver by Lois Lowry. Pages and Company. Magic Misfits, I've read all three that are out so far, but I think the fourth one comes out in September. So Shoes, Franny K. Stein, Mad Scientist, Book Scavenger, Pegasus, I Survived, Oodle Thunks, Katie Kazoo, Switcheroo, and Banicula. So those are the ones that I've read so far. Um, so I only have to find a book left for the letter Q, V, X, and Z, which are like the hardest letters, obviously, but that's all I need left for A through Z because I also say that A, the, those count. Um, so like I couldn't be like the queen or anything like that. I would have to just be like queen to count for cues. So an extra challenge for myself. Um, uh, my reading challenge I'm doing pretty well with. Um, I still have to find a book of short stories, a book that takes place in space, a book published the year I was born, a book recommended by a stranger, a book written by someone under 25, um, and a new release and a movie to book. So those ones I still have to do. Uh, my bingo board is almost completely filled. Um, I just have to read a book about an obscure holiday. Uh, so that gets me into my Harry Potter game. Um, so these are the characters. I will, oh, sorry. Um, but I will go over this more at the end of the year. I won't go over it right now. But so far, I have a lot of Gryffindor characters. I have quite a few Slytherin, Ravenclaw. And Hufflepuff, again, I'll go over this more at the end of the year. Um, so my Gryffindor and Ravenclaw cups are already full. So Gryffindor got first place and Ravenclaw got second place. But I still need to fill my Hufflepuff and Slytherin. And honestly, they're not too far apart. So anyone could win still. Um, and then my Hogwarts exams. Um, so I finished my Owl's pretty quickly so for astronomy i read breakout uh charms i read the safekeeper secret defense against dark arts i read bloom flying i read underlying herbology i read once upon a dream history of magic i read the adventures of tom sawyer potions i read love and gelato transfiguration i read the kingdom arithmancy i read the many adventures of winnie the pooh care of magical creatures i read pax uh muggle studies i read choose your own autobiography divination i read scythe and study of ancient runes i read shout and if you guys want to see the prompts i'll just hold those right here but this is really based off of g at book roast her like owls and newts that she does um which i think she has stopped doing because of the whole jk rowling thing that's going on right now but i started this so i want to finish it um but yeah this is based off of that game um and then i have started my newts but we won't go over that right now because i haven't actually done anything really much with that so uh that brings me into my stats um these are just all the books 
that I have on my shelf and if I've read them or not. So I'm just going to flip through that really quick. So it's not really important or anything. Um, so yeah, I still have to do all that. That's like an end of the year thing. This is an end of the year thing. So emotions, um, if you guys just look from like June and down, um, pretty much all my months were pretty happy reads. Like I need to kind of like branch out more in the other months to read books that maybe aren't as happy, but yeah, so that's kind of what that looks like right now. Um, uh, my genre race, clearly sci-fi fantasy is winning, so I gotta like really read more genres, especially some of the ones that I have not read much of, because yeah, I just gotta read more of those. Um, yeah, but that's what that looks like right now. Um, I can't do this till the end of the year because it's a pie chart. Same with this one is a pie chart. Um, this graph just kind of says how many books I've read in a month. And as you can see from like May to June, there's a huge drop. So, um, but May was like off the chart. So that's good. Um, and then I have my caw pile pages. This is where I keep track of my rating system. Um, this is based off of, again, G at Book Rose does this rating system. Um, and I've talked about it in like previous vlogs. But yeah, if you guys are more interested in that, I can do a video explaining what that is. But that's pretty self-explanatory. I just rate based on character, atmosphere, writing, plot, intrigue, logic, and enjoyment. So I kind of do that. Uh, my star ratings graph, pretty much four stars almost to like the top. So, you know, but I've barely had any one star and I like really thank Copile for that because sometimes I just gave books one star because I just was like spiteful towards it. So, um, it's kind of helped me like see why I don't like a book and why I do like a book. So that's nice. Um, and then my author stats we've already talked about, but now we're getting into like the end of the month ones. Uh, so pages read so far, the book that I have, or the month that I have read the most pages, looks like it was April, even though I read the most books in May, uh, just the pages were longer in April, and the least was definitely June. June was not a good month for reading. Uh, and that obviously is the end of the, yeah, this is the end of the year. This is the end of the year. Um, these are like the books that are up for nomination. So anything that like got on my superlatives, like a top book or the worst book or anything like that, like these are the same books that I already talked about in the superlatives, but this is like they're nominated against whatever the end of the year brings. And then that will be like my top book of the year, or my worst book of the year. So this is just kind of like my nominations for right now. We don't need to go over those. And then so far here are my best quotes. I will not read all these because that would take forever. But yeah, they're pretty pretty self-explanatory. I just kind of like write the quotes fancy around this and then yeah. So that's that for right now. So yeah, I don't know if you guys like super enjoyed this video or not, but it was good for me to kind of like go through and just see what I need to fix and what I've like kind of just like what I need more of in my reading and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Wasn't that a great video? Clearly books make me very happy. Now you can make me happy too. Click the subscribe button to follow my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you think I did good. And the notification bell will let you know when I post new content. Also, follow my Instagram for more book shenanigans.